set that date. It's the Brick Girls Go Stateside. It's a one-day collaboration. Cynthia Porter Studio. Matilda and Josephine. JB Poor Art. Janya Bremick. Manon Petit Art. Phoenix Flow Art. Louise McKay Art. Oak by Bettina. Amy's Acrylic Artistry. It's not just paint, it's art by Donna. December 18th, a one day crossover event. You won't wanna miss it. Set your notifications. Hi everyone, this is Donna from Hollywood, California. It's not just paint, it's art by Donna. Sharing a little bit of my week with you. I went to the talk this week. I was at the Grove this week. Um, had a wonderful time at the Grove. Saw their beautiful Christmas tree. Uh, did a little shopping. Also brought Spot, my little girl, for her uh, for her Christmas yeah, haircut. you enjoyed today's video see you later don't forget we have the uh, angel giveaway today so this is all done in a time lapse for your consideration I'm water marbling all these balls some are glass balls and some are plastic all were bought at Michael's And I did slow down the time lapse so you could see a little bit of what I'm doing. And you can see in between, I do clean out the marbling with a paper. And I show you that paper later on. The paper itself came out absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So I did save that. I think I'm going to use that um another week in another week after i do the balls i will show you embellishing and for time's sake, I will show little parts of different kinds of embellishing. Um, I did lose pieces of, uh, <laughs> I lost parts of my video. I don't know how, but obviously somewhere along the line, I didn't, um, I didn't video everything. But I do hope you enjoy what you're going to see here today. And I will be calling out the winner of the Angel Jewelry Giveaway. Um, about halfway through this video. So I hope you enjoy what you see. And here comes that uh, paper. That butcher paper. And how beautiful is that? This is absolutely gorgeous. The iridescence in this is amazing. I'll be using this butcher paper in a future video. And here are some of the balls um, already uh, hanging up to dry. And I did uh, 
coat of tri art glass after they were dried. So on these first two, I decided I would stencil um, initials onto the ball. And I'm using some distress uh, paint. It has a little dauber at the end, so it makes it a little easier when you uh, when you're putting that paint on. And I had these. Um, I have a lot of stuff in my stash, so yes, I did have this already. But distress paints are still available there by Tim Holtz by Ranger. So I just dab that on. Uh, and then I pull it off and I let it dry. Yeah, these stencils, um, they're like color forms, they kind of stick on and they come off really easy. And then you just wash it off with water when you're done with it, so you could reuse it. And I just sprinkled a little, uh, it was this bridal tinsel embossing powder that I had, to, just to shiny it up a little bit, add a little sparkle to my life. I did two bowls like that, and here's one. And this is what I put around the sides, and that's the little rosette that I put on there. Just a piece of lace that I had, and it is cold outside. An embellishment that I had. Lord knows how many years I had this. And uh, so that would look quite nice here. Just like that. Just something very plain. Simple to do. So I'm going to attach this with some UV resin because I feel that it's uh, really easy. Look how beautiful that is. Make sure we get it in the right spot. If you have any questions along the way, please feel free to ask the question below, and I promise I'll get back to you. Isn't that just stunning? I love this one. And the winner is Art by Sparkle. Congratulations. Email me as soon as possible. Thank you to all who participated. Until next time. So I had this bag of snow and some sequins. And I don't know. It was an idea. Not a great, the greatest of ideas, but <laughs> I threw them in there. It looked cute. It was okay. Um, not my not my favorite. But it was fun. And I did some embellishing on the outside too. Um, as I went along. I wasn't happy with what I was doing here though. Um, 
that lace just didn't cut it. <laughs> Not with those balls anyway. But I did, um, I did something really pretty with this ball in the end. On this one, I added some chains to this little embellishment that I had to uh, make it fit exactly the way I wanted it to look. Sometimes uh, we don't have what we want, but we can make it ourselves. Putting some heavy gloss medium onto this because this embellishment is a little heavy and I want to make sure that it's going to really stick on. Uh, then I decided to use my UV resin on it um, and that came beautiful. I saved the most special ornament for last and this is for a special loved one who has passed. It is with angel, I call it angel wings, and they're feathers. And feathers do represent, um, when you see a feather, you think of uh, an angel, and those are uh, representing our loved ones who have passed. a little line of sticklers across the, uh, the center of the feather to make it shine a little bit while it's on the tree.
bit of get a string and attach that. So this concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content today and I hope you loved this water marbling and the embellishing. It really uh, turns out what I think is quite beautiful. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't had a chance to visit uh, Cynthia Porter Studio, she'll be after Nate Bright Art. And um, if you haven't visited Janet, um, with the Krill Creations with Jay Witty. She was right before me. All those links can be found in my description. This is Donna from Hollywood, California, signing off with love, light, and lots of laughter. Happy holidays, everyone. And Nate Bright will be next. Please find him in my description below, and I'll also put him in the chat. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye-bye now.